Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Diana, Francisco, Fredis, Anna, Jacqueline, uh, Blanca, and Glenda. How are you today? Good evening, good teacher. Really good. Really good. Do you have dinner today was yet? My good day. Yes. Today was your? Sorry, I interrupted you. Yeah, my date off. Oh, okay, cool. Yes. <laughs> so you have just one day off? No, no, no. But because I, I, I have a lot of days of vacation, so I have to take them. Ah. So I'm, I'm scheduling them. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what do you do? I'll rest and play with my pets, watch TV. <laughs> okay. Cool. Um, do you work in anything related to English? No. 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 Okay. Let's see who else is here. Miguel Angel, welcome. And let's see. Hopefully the rest of your classes are joining you, joining us very soon. Uh, yeah, it's just one minute. Today we have a uh, arena national teacher. True. <laughs> I, I I think everybody got the message. <laughs> yes, I, I, see right? I see yeah. the message. <laughs> now it's not optional that I mean everybody knows. Uh, but somehow it's good, right? That people know that uh, that's gonna happen. Um Let's see, Suleyma, welcome, Floor, uh, Karen. Okay, we're going to get started right now. Hopefully uh, everything's going to be all right. It has been raining a lot here in San Miguel, but right now it just stopped. So that's a good sign. Um, what about the weather in, in the place where you live right now? In my house, it's raining. In my okay. house. <laughs> okay. In my house, it started raining too. It started raining, Karen? Okay, excellent. Yes. Well, I. how many of you like the rain? I like it, but the soft and calm rain. Okay. Not a big storm. I uh, like it when I'm home. When I'm yeah. outside, I don't like it. <laughs> true, true. I understand you. Um, well, I agree with you. I, I like the rain because I know all the benefits, right? I know that it's good for the plants, it's good for the animals, um, for the rivers, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? So everything is green. Um, but as you said, right, if it is too strong, if it is a pouring rain, uh, like if it is a hurricane, I don't like it. Because uh, I know that it can bring a lot of problems with it. And um, yeah, if I'm not home, I'm in a hurry because I might get stuck in traffic or in um, flooding. That happens here in Samuel. Uh, so in, today I, I, I was in a hurry, uh, to be honest, uh, to be here before it started raining, but I made it, I made it. Um, I'm just sorry for the car. Uh, well, let's say that it's a natural car wash. Um, we're going to <laughs> get started and um, let's see. I was thinking that I didn't write down the names of the of the members of every team. And um, so I will need your help, okay, to tell me who you were working with uh, for the menu, okay, for the menu. And um, so that I can make the poll. Uh, okay, Glenda, say, okay, I understand you have a big connection problem because of the rain. 
Well, just try to listen, Glenda. Maybe you can stay um, online, connected, and you can use the chat, right, to communicate. And hopefully later um, it gets better. Uh, okay, so uh, I usually like to start my classes talking, right, like with, the, with some questions or some speaking activities uh, to activate, right, because uh, your English switch because I know that during the day, most of you are speaking Spanish. Um, in my case, I teach, so it's, I, I need to speak the, the language uh, at least 50% of the day. Um, so a question for you about that. A, how often do you usually practice English? You can say how often you do it or how much time approximately, right? In average, you dedicate to the language, right? Uh, on a regular basis. Maybe you don't do it every day, but you do it frequently, okay? Uh, in my so, case, just two yeah? hours. <laughs> two hours. During the cars. Ah, okay. <laughs> During the class, okay, got it. Uh, Francisca, how about you? Oh, Ooh. a little teacher. A little, uh, a yes. little is oh. what? Uh, the, the true, I practice English only, we have the class. Okay, so during the class. Yeah, right. it's fine. I mean, you, you need yes, to say my, the truth, right? I, yes, I'm asking my, you right now just to have an idea, but later I am going to, tell you some things about that. Uh, yes, I um, like get to practice more English. However, I would like to have some person with to can to practice. A person to practice with. Yeah, that's important. That's very important. Um, so you can find a partner. You can find a partner maybe here in this group, right? Somebody wants to do the same thing. So it's like, hey, Send me a message, I want to practice. Okay. Um, Ana Mariela, how about you? Hi. Hello. I practice English really is in during the day. I'm some hours, but talking just in the class. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, when I say practice, it can be reading, it can be listening, or it can be writing, right? Okay, not necessarily speaking. Okay, thank you, Anna. Uh, Freddy's, how about you? Well, in my case, only with the classmates. Only in the class, okay. Yeah. Karen? I work at home when I want to practice. Oh, okay, got it. Karen, you're next. Uh, in my case, uh, I try to to see TV, to watch TV in English with subtitles in English too, at least one hour maybe uh, uh, per day. And at work, maybe not every day, but maybe twice a week, I have a meetings and or trainings Meet with people trainings. from from geneva and, and we speak in english because they the language is french and mine is spanish so we oh. try to to speak in english okay that's really interesting mm -hmm. okay so you have a big motivation to learn more oh, okay yes. <laughs> yeah definitely uh blanca you're next hi Hello. Uh, I practice a lot when my Korean guy has an er interview in every show. They only put subtitles in English and I have to read them because th that, that is the only way that I can understand him. They, I can understand it. Okay, you can understand them. With the, yeah. But it's only only written because I can understand so well the English, but I can't speak it. <laughs> Sorry. 
So you are more uh, accustomed to the input, right, of the language, to receive the language, but not too much to use it. Okay, I got it. And the next one in the list would be Ana Beatriz. Well, I really practice English only when I attend the English class, but sometimes I I help my daughter help help I help my daughter with with her English homework, and sometimes we watch cartoons in English with her. Cartoons in English. Okay, that's that's cool. Because, because... I, I I think it's. I think it's more easy to, is easier understand than when I watch a, a a movie, for example. Yeah, actually, uh, we shouldn't under underestimate uh, cartoons because uh, they speak really fast. So yeah, it, that's a good practice. Okay, thank you, Ana, Miguel Angel. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Um, in my case, I try to learn English every day at night uh, with you, okay. uh, with my uh, uh, co-workers and in my jobs. Um, uh, in my jobs, I try to learn uh, English in my lunch. Because, really? Because, That's yeah, good. Yeah. I try to learn uh, about uh, uh, listening to music in English and read the words of the song. And uh, I watch it, I watch it, uh, the videos on uh, YouTube. Perfect. Okay, so you can take notes, right? If somebody's sharing yes. some strategies, some practice, and you're like, hey, I like that idea, write it down, okay? watching yes. videos or yes. taking some time case, during lunch. Good. Yes, uh -huh. in my case, I like to listen to music. That's good, that's really good. Um, yeah, there, there are yes. some songs or some artists that are really good and you can learn from their music for, for sure, okay? Uh, but there are some others, yes. that not too much, right? For example, if you're talking about Nowadays, right? Nowadays, modern music. Uh, if you ask me about lyrics, maybe I would recommend you, I don't know, Ed Sheeran. Maybe he, he has some good songs. Uh, or Sam Smith, I think that's another one. Sam uh, Smith, yes. Yeah, Sam Smith. Yes. If we're talking about new singers, right? Or new bands. Um, there's another guy that sings um, romantic music too, but I can't remember his name. Uh, so, if you have any recommendations of good music with lyrics, you can write it down in the chat, right? So that people can be taking notes like, hey, I didn't know about this singer. Okay, if we talk about the 90s or the 80s, obviously there are many, or the 70s, there are many good songs uh, that you can learn some vocabulary and pronunciation from. Okay, so um, Jacqueline, how often do you practice English? Or how frequently? Well, I practice just when I am here in classes. Okay. Uh, so we're going to... But I know I have to Practice. Yeah, okay, more definitely. To get more fluency and increase my vocabulary. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I think I remember the name of the singer is John Legend. John Legend. That's the other one. Okay, that has good music. Okay, so um, we're just beginning. Today is the day four, right? So we still have four weeks and one day more to go. That means that we'll have a lot of different opportunities to share and to practice and learn. So uh, those three things are very important, right? Sharing what we know, uh, practicing, 
okay, whatever we are studying, and uh, the chance to learn something new, right? So uh, next one is Juan Jose. Hi. Hello. Okay. Yes, I can hear you clearly. Hello. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, okay. Uh, in, in this moment in my house, it's raining, but I try to, <laughs> to speak. Okay, um, I try to, to practice English uh, at, in, in the midnight after my lunch. Um, uh, listen music, uh, translate Spanish and English, uh, music of 70s. Uh, very, very like that music. Um, for example, uh, for season, music for season, I, I like Donna Sommer, for example, um, Barry Menelo, uh, translate, translate the music in Spanish and English, uh, but it's only, um, only one hour because in my house, uh, always I am busy. I work uh, since uh, 8 a.m. until 6 6 30 p.m. It's very, very busy all day. Um, when I practice English, it's, it's a little, a little, but I, I try, I try. Perfect, excellent. Uh, thank you, Juan Jose. Brenda, your turn. Okay, in my case, I just practice when I come here to class. And what I do is that uh, I used to watch videos on YouTube and to learn something and i sometimes i i listen to the videos but when they are in english like that okay okay excellent yeah we had a conversation related to that uh right very good thank you uh floor you're next brenda don't need to practice so much because she speaks very well very well <laughs> she will be the teacher Okay, she will be a teacher. Okay, excellent. <laughs> yes. Actually, it is really good that we have different levels, right? Like different uh, types of knowledge in the class because when you are in the breakout rooms or during the session, right? You can have different people to practice with and you can learn <laughs> something new from them. So I personally like it when uh, there are all kinds of levels, all kinds of backgrounds, right? uh because you learn from everybody so um uh, sorry flora your your turn yes well i'm sorry if you can't hear me well because it's raining too hard so no i, I hear know. you i hear you well no pero me quiero me quiero acordar si ya me lo tomé okay wait a second <laughs> okay <laughs> Speaking of food, right? Speaking of food, okay. I uh, already okay. I, I drink. <laughs> okay, my case, well, I practice only in the class. Well, in, in my job, the system that we use is in English, so, so I practice in my work too. Okay. Perfect. Uh, let's see who's next. Uh, I have Rolando here. Hello. Hello. Well, in my case, uh, I'm practicing English in the class. And I practice in my show when I take a lunch. Normally, I watch the movies in English. I try to to set the the translate in English too. So titles in English. But when I don't understand some word, I only watch the the, the word in English. Yeah. This okay. is my 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 um, I don't know how to say my my method. Your method. Yeah, your, your method. Yeah. Your okay. method. yeah. For practice English, um, for practicing English, and my I, and 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 sometimes I practice with my my 
my boys. I have two boys and they learn English too, like me. Oh, okay, that's great. Yeah, that's a good strategy. If you, have, if you have children at home, you can have them learn English and then you practice with them. <laughs> yeah, or anybody at home. It's, it's a really challenge for me because they are they are more uh, they have more experience they they are because they learn English before to me. But for you, uh -huh. it's, it's really really interesting practice with with them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Working with with kids, it's it's a challenge in general. Okay. Uh, who's next, Arvin? Can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How often do you practice English, Harbin? Sorry, I, I'm I going to. Uh -huh. If you Harbin? can hear me but, well, because yep. it's raining too hard here. Yeah, I can hear you well. Okay. Okay, so, I practice uh, English in, during the class. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Only during and the class. And in my job, I have, no, for example, in my job, I have to do because I receive a lot of email in mm -hmm. English, but it's difficult to practice with them because I receive a lot of vocabulary that I didn't know the meaning. I got it. So this is the, so this is the, the, the difficult to me, but I try to practice and when I, don't know how to write uh, email. I use the mm -hmm. translate, but I I write in English. Yep. Checking the I doing well. Okay, excellent. So um, Jessica, thank you, Harvin. Can you hear Hi, me? Teacher, good Hello. Evening. Good evening. Yes, teacher, and you. I'm great, thank you. Uh, so, how often do you practice or how much time do you dedicate to English normally? I try to practice um, in the morning in my job. Okay. Uh, when I when I when I working, uh, but I don't have. Uh, a specific time for, for practice, but for I practicing. try to practice mm -hmm. uh, in the morning. Okay, okay, perfect. Thank you yes. for, so much yes. for sharing. Uh, I'm, not I'm not sure if uh, Glenda already fixed the connection problem. Please let me know, Glenda. Um, so, the majority of you already shared with us. Uh, some of your classmates are having, a, well, are working right now. So they are trying to participate or pay attention to everybody, but they cannot talk too much, right? So, uh, but they already told me uh, through the chat. So we're going to be doing different practices. Uh, I was taking the attendance as everybody was speaking, okay? So right now I already checked who's here and who's not. And now it's time to share the menus. So uh, I would like to uh, know, I would like to know if you have one volunteer per group, one person that is going to share the information about the menu that you created yesterday. Anybody there uh, ready? to share with us? Excuse me. Ready? Yes. And Miguel. Okay, Freddy's, uh, who uh, who are your, your classmates, your, your team members? I have a short memory. <laughs> have a short memory. <laughs> Okay, so I think it was I think it was Carla, I think. Carla, okay, Carla was one. Carla, oh, I'm and going I to write down the names. Person. I'm going to write down the names. Don't worry. Uh, okay, so somebody else who was with Freddy's yesterday, 
for the menu, uh, creating the menu? Yesterday I participate, I work with, with Freddy's and Carla too. Okay, uh, okay. okay, excellent. Ana Beatriz. That's the other okay. person. <laughs> Got Sorry, it. I forgot about you. She says that it's okay, but don't do it again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Will you excuse so, me if you hear a background? What? Will you excuse me if you hear a background? Okay, no problem. So what is the menu that you created? Well, on the starter, uh, we'll, we'll make in a Chinese restaurant. Okay, so Chinese. For starter, we put um, one town, and the second play was mushroom salad. For okay. snack, fried potato, and dumplings. Main course, orange chicken, and chow mein for dessert, fortune cookies and Chinese almond cookies and drinks, green tea and soda. Okay, so green tea and soda. Okay. Yeah. Um, the, there's one that is, called, that is called sake, right? But that's from Japan, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they were talking about it. Yeah? Okay. So one, one Japanese. Uh, so you have the Chinese menu. Excellent, okay. Claps for them, please, for the group number one. In this case, number one, because they are the first volunteers. So um, I'm going to identify the type of menu, right, to remember. Okay, so number one is the Chinese. Second volunteer was uh, Miguel, I think. Yes, yes, this year. Okay, I, perfect, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you about uh, our menu okay in my Who? group uh -huh. in my group is francisco Corta. francisco um i i don't remember <laughs> okay miguel francisco and who was the other person working with with them who remembers if you were working with uh, Juan Miguel Jose and I am. Juan Jose and? And I am. And I you, am. Blanca, okay. Yeah, yes. Okay, Blanca. What kind of menu was it? Uh, what kind of restaurant? What is the specialty of the of your restaurant? Hello. We were talking about different uh -huh. different dishes. Ah, okay. So I, I'm going to say that is random. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So this is the random menu. The, okay, tell us, please. Yeah. The started. I think that my partner is has. Have? has some problems yeah he yeah. has some some connection problems or some yeah, microphone sure. problems hello it's here. go ahead please okay. the starters we mm -hmm. talk about garlic bread tortilla soup tomato soup okay the snack was chicken chunks, French fries with cheese, and cheese sticks. Nice. The main course, uh, beef, meat, and rice. A spaghetti and cheese, or, or, with, or with cheese. Spaghetti with cheese. Spaghetti and cheese is okay. Spaghetti and ah, okay. cheese. And I, uh, well, it's high tea and ground. <laughs> that is chicken, shrimp, and meat. In Spanish, okay. it's called it's called cielo mar y tierra. <laughs> cielo mar y tierra. Wow. Okay. Yeah. 
Interesting. Have chicken, sure, shrimp. I don't know how to tell camarones. <laughs> and shrimps, it, yeah. Shrimps, it's okay. Okay. And desserts, uh, cheese pie, apple pie, and drinks. We talk about lemon tea, Coke, horchata, and cold pipa. That is the idea from Francisco. Cold pipa. Okay. Pipa fria. Pipa fria. What's that? Yeah. You can tell Francisco. Okay, thank you. Uh, the pipa fria is a. I don't know how to say refresco juice, but it's the a refreshment, uh huh. A refresh, uh, to refreshment, uh huh. It's, it's have a water of coconut. Coconut water, okay. Coconut water. Coconut water. Um, tamarindo. Okay. Um. Uh. Use the mandarina. I, tangerine. Tangerine. Uh -huh. But the use need to. I don't know how do you say. Tiene que ser ácida. It has to be sour. 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 Uh -huh. Yes. This is the pipa fria. It's the traditional in Colombia. If, uh, excuse me, it's Costa Rica. Costa Rica, okay. Yes. Pipa fria, okay, got it. So it sounds like an interesting drink for sure. Okay, thank you so much. Reactions for this team, please. Uh, that was a very random menu for sure. So perfect. Next one. Next volunteer for the, the next group number three. So number one, Chinese, don't forget. Number two is random. Number three. Who is a volunteer? We already have Freddy's, Carla, Ana Beatriz. Group number one. Group number two, Miguel, Francisco, Juan Jose, and Blanca. Number three. Teacher, uh -huh. <laughs> we got a little bit confused with my group, and I don't remember the members. But we we thought we had to choose but, a a restaurant, not to create a a, a restaurant. <laughs> no, you don't have to create a restaurant. You just have to create a menu. That yeah, um, almost the same. But we didn't create a menu. We ah. choose the menu of a restaurant that already exists and organize the the starters, snacks, and make courses, desserts. We got that idea. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. <gasps> Maybe that's why my group don't want to talk about <laughs> our menu. Okay. <laughs> So uh, who was with Diana? But anyway, we're going to take that into consideration, uh, even though it's not your own menu, okay? But uh, just to remember what, what you were discussing, right? So um, can you share with us? Uh, well, who was with Diana? Who remembers uh, working with Diana in the menu? I okay, Jacqueline. Jacqueline. Me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nobody wants to speak, Sorry. right? <laughs> Sorry. Okay, <dude>. don't worry. <laughs> it's because we got confused. That's why they, uh, they don't okay. want to talk. <laughs> no, nah, don't worry. Everybody makes mistakes. That's okay. Okay, okay so, uh, so what is it? What is the food or the restaurant that you were thinking of? <laughs> Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut, okay. Um, <laughs> So we have for the starters, salads, cinnamon rolls, hot okay. wings to share. And the snacks, we have bread with garlic, hot dippers, 
Kids and Palitra Kids. <laughs> In the make courses, we have Fruity Di Mari or all the pastas dishes, pizzas. And for dessert, we have tres leches, uh, cheesecake, tiramisu, and brownies. And drinks, we have horchata, cold tea, and frozen fusions. <laughs> you can have legal problems for this, okay? <gasps> if anybody from Pizza Hut watches the video, we're going to be in trouble. <laughs> <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I will write down copyright menu. Okay, so uh, next one. No, but we, we have to recognize, we can use the reactions because they were trying to think, okay, how can we say this in English, right? So they were trying to translate the menu to English for free, right? So the Pizza Hut was, was not promoting or uh, sponsoring this, this service. <laughs> okay. I didn't raise your hand. Who? Karen, yeah. okay, perfect. Karen? Your microphone is off. Okay, now it's ready. Yes, uh, in my group, we were uh, Ana Mariela, Jessica, uh, Rolando, and me. Okay. Am I correct? I think. So. Uh, yes. So it will be Rolando. Okay, we you. don't have a name. Ana Mariela and Jessica. Okay, Ana Mariela and Rolando. Yes, our okay. restaurant that do you have a specific have a... type of food? Um, fast or... food. Fast food. Okay, we're going to say fast food. Yes. So this is a fast food restaurant. Okay, good. What is the menu? So, uh, from starter, cheese fingers and breadsticks. Uh, snacks, tuna sandwich, and nachos. Uh, main courses, we have a monster burger, chili hot dog, chicken panini, uh, breakfast burrito, and for uh, breakfast, hot cakes with chocolate or with strawberries. Uh, dessert, fruit dessert. and yogurt. Uh, Apple pie, cheese pie, uh, Nutella crepes with banana. Crips. Okay, Nutella crepes. I love that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Ice cream. And for drink, we have soda, iced tea, orange juice, coffee, or hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. Okay. Hot chocolate. And you said crepes. And you also mentioned... Uh... Well, those are desserts, right? Yes. Okay, excellent. Now let's move on. A big round of applauses for the group number four, please. The fast food restaurant. Okay, uh, well, the fast food menu, right? Okay, reactions, here we go. Ta-da, okay. And I think we're missing one more. Is there anybody else who's missing here or no? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, we're definitely missing some groups. So, uh, who am I missing here? Francisco's there. I don't know if Glenda was in any group. Glenda or Suleyma maybe, or, okay, Brenda. Ah, you're quiet. <laughs> okay, Brenda, I think that you know something, but you don't want to say it. 
I'm a okay. good detective. If, 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 if uh -huh. you didn't know, I'm a good detective. I can tell when somebody's <laughs> hiding something. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we were missing there. Okay. So, who were okay. you working with? Uh, I was with Floor. I think Glenda ah, is the other Floor lady. Floor and... was. Uh, uh huh. Mm -hmm. Glenda. Andy. And there was another girl there, but I don't remember her name. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I, I remember that Flora was I'm almost not... sleeping, falling asleep when she was in the breakout room. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. <laughs> no, she was <laughs> relaxing, right? Just relaxing. Okay, probably okay. there was it was another Anna because we have three Annas, and right now I only have two Annas here, so maybe there was another Anna with you. Probably Anna Elizabeth was there. Okay. Uh, okay. So, what's the specialty or the type of menu that you created? Okay, I'll tell you. Uh, for starters, uh, I, I will just give you three options of what we wrote. Okay. okay. But do you have a specific uh, type of food? Uh, or is it random? It's random, but more or less it's like um, home food or something like that. Homemade food. Homemade food. Okay, that's interesting. That's healthy. Okay, homemade food. Go ahead. Okay, for starters, we have broccoli cream, French fries. Okay, and Caesar salad. Uh, for snacks, we have nachos, hot dogs, just forget that, burgers, sandwiches, and chicharrones. Then for yeah. the main course. <laughs> Don't forget that, that, that word. I was sharing that with you yesterday. Yeah. We call it pork rinds, right? Pork rinds. Yeah. Very good. Pork rinds, yes. And then uh, for main courses, we have barbecue ribs, roast meat, lasagna, baked chicken, garlic shrimps. And for complements, we have boiled, boiled vegetables, mashed potato, or rice. Then for dessert, we have apple pie, tres Desserts? leches. Desserts, yeah. Desserts, uh huh. Apple pie, tres leches, vanilla ice cream, cinnamon rolls, and pudding. Then for drinks, we, ha we have fruit salad juice, sodas, wines, coffee, and chocolate. You have wine? Yeah, we have wine. Okay. <laughs> Good. So, uh, well, Reactions, class for them. So this was the <laughs> end. I think this is the last group, if I'm not mistaken. So you can use your reactions for the homemade food, a mix of healthy and not healthy food. Uh, let me check. So we have the pizza, the fast food, and the homemade. Fast food, okay, and homemade. Oh, wait, no. It's not this one. I want to add an option here. Okay, so the option is uh, homemade food. So I'm just going to write down this and then I'm going to share with you the homemade food. And Here we go. Okay, perfect. So I have the 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 poll ready. So I'm going to share it with you right now. Wait a second. Here we go. So poll is called menu. So you're going to choose one of the options, right? You have one vote. And the question is, which menu was the most appealing for you? Which menu was the most appealing for you? Here we go. Okay. Homemade, fast food, Pizza Hut, random, and Chinese. Let's see which one the winner is. Uh 
Okay, right now the homemade is winning with six votes, but random it's getting closer with three. Pizza Hut has two votes. <laughs> I mean the group members. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so we have seven, well, 14 people. So we're missing five votes here approximately. So we have just 10 more seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay. The time is up. So we're going to. Declare the winner by unanimous decision. Yeah, I have watched the MMA. <laughs> the homemade food. Uh, congratulations, guys. So oh, that was a really, really good menu. So now you can uh, probably think about making it official, making it real, and offering that, okay? Delivery service. Uh, in the capital city, probably. Uh, <laughs> okay, excellent. So thank you so much. I'm going to end the polling right now. That was the, okay, yeah, homemade was the winner. And, well, I'm not sure if you saw it, but I'm going to share it. Okay, now you see the results. I'm going to, I'm sharing them with you. So seven votes. Two and two, pizza hat and fast food. Random had four and Chinese had one. Okay, so the Chinese probably had to include, I don't know, two for one or a free drink. <laughs> so more people feel interested, right, in the food. Okay, excellent. Now we're going to uh, move on. Okay, do you like the activity? You can use a reaction if you like the, the activity and making the poll, the voting. You can uh, use the thumbs up or the heart, that's okay. The tada or claps. Okay, yeah. So the majority of you like the activity. Hopefully we'll have the opportunity to do something similar later on. Now it's time to move on. And I, I am going to share with you the screen quickly to the activity that we're going to start. Okay, give me just one second. Here it is. Okay, so what is the objective for the activity or for today's session in general? Okay, here it is. Well, I was saving the picture as you can see. Uh, okay, so uh, the restaurant industry, can you see the image right now, the screen? Yes, we can yes. see it. Okay, yes. perfect. Thank you. Um, so the objective is that you will be able to describe an action plan. This is important. You have the ideas, but if you don't have an action plan, you cannot make it work. So you're going to describe an action plan to introduce a new item on a menu, okay? It's like, uh, do you remember when the, now that we're talking about the pizza, when they uh, introduced the Loroco pizza, here in El Salvador. So they had this, this advertising, they had a lot of ideas, commercials on TV, right? And et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, on the radio. So they had a plan to make the La Roca pizza popular, okay? So the restaurants or the companies have that, okay? Um, what other product comes to your mind that you think, oh, they had a good idea to introduce this product? It can be food or another kind of product. One that you remember right now, that was very smart. Like the, the company had a really good idea to sell that product or to introduce that product. One that you remember? Las mascarillas decoradas. Uh-huh. <laughs> so the fashionable uh, masks, right? The fashionist masks, okay. That was a good idea. The Winnie Pooh. Uh, the Winnie Pooh. Okay. I didn't see those, but got it. Uh, well, so every company has different strategies, okay, to introduce their products. Now, um, 
I am going to move on, okay? And right now what you're going to do is to think, okay? There are two questions. Uh, I am going to ask Ana Beatriz, can you please uh, help us to read the two questions? Yes. What would you do to introduce a new menu item? What do you think about giving free samples of new products? Okay, so two very clear questions. Do you know the meaning of samples? Samples? Yes. What is that? What is a sample? Como las pruebas de comida. Pruebas? Uh -huh. As another synonym, muestras, okay. Muestras. Uh, uh, That's muestras. correct, muestras, right? In this case, if we're talking about food, it would be like degustación, right? Like uh, for free. So that, um, if you go to the supermarkets before the virus, they had these sausages, for example. I remember that they offer sausages uh, with a little toothpick with a little toothpick, right? So that people could taste it. And if they like it, they could buy it. They did that with, with uh, dairy products, right? Embutidos. They, I remember that that was very common. Or refreshments. And cheese right? in the supermarket. Cheese or refreshments. Okay. So I used to like that idea, right? So that was a strategy to introduce a new product. So in this moment, you are going to think like a restaurant owner, right? or like a marketing uh, expert, what would you do to introduce a new menu item? You can think that you belong to a famous restaurant, right? Like uh, Cebollines or uh, Talaca, a restaurant that you like. How would you introduce one new uh, menu item in that restaurant? What do you think about giving free samples of new products? What is your opinion? Is that a good idea? It's not that good because people go crazy and uh, I mean, it's expensive. So that's, that's what you're going to discuss, okay? So you can take a screenshot of the two questions. You can copy them in your notebook if you want, if you are very fast uh, at writing. And I am going to send you to the breakout room so that you can express your opinion about that. Then uh, when you come back, I'm going to take the attendance and we move on to the next activity. So for this activity, you are going to have exactly uh, three minutes. You will be in first, so you will have enough time to discuss the two questions and express your opinion. So uh, I'm going to create uh, nine breakout rooms. So the majority is going to have two members. One is going to have three. Okay, so Blanca, Miguel, and Rolando, you're going to be together, I think. Wait a second. No, I'm going to move. Rolanda to the room number four. Okay, and we're ready. I said the invitation to the breakout room, please. See you in a moment. <laughs> yeah, it looks like that. Okay, good, the, my, everybody's going to the breakout rooms. We're missing just Glenda, Maritza, and Anna. Okay, Brenda has some technical problems, I think. Um, so I'm going to move from Jose to the breakout room number eight.
number five. Maritza, can you hear me? Voy a escuchar. So we have a problem here. Okay. Introduce me adding items to your website. Mm, I think it's a cheap form to, to not cheap way to to show the product and maybe it can be free and publicity the product with internet like social media like Facebook. Twitter, YouTube. Okay, uh, that's a that's a good a good verb. In this case, uh, when you want to say public, publicitar, you say public publicize, publicize, publicize. Uh, so publicize is like to promote it, right? To promote. Promote is another another one that you can use. Promote or advertise, advertise. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Continue. Please. An example. Yes, and you taste. You can um, decide if you if it's a, a good idea buy uh, the cheese or the product, whatever yeah. product. Yeah, that's why I was telling you we have to be careful with with the free samples. Uh, if we're talking about a new item in the menu in a restaurant, right? It has to make sense with the restaurant and with the with the category of our menu and food. Yes, it's true. Thank you for your advice. <laughs> yeah, I'm if you want to, if you want that. to, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, if you want you to your add your one. own restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> Not a Thank bad idea. <laughs> Very good. I yeah. like it. Um, but, but I, you, you don't remember that? No, 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 I don't remember. Teacher. Hello? I can, how can I say cobrar about cobro? O sea, recibir dinero. Charge. 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 Or yeah, no. another, another word when, for example, when you go and ask the customers uh, in their in their homes or something like that, that would be like collecting, collecting the money. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah, but okay. charge is like usually cobrar. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. You're but, done? Uh, excuse me? Are you done? Do you finish? Um, we're talking about. <laughs> okay, perfect. So you have 30 seconds more. Okay. Um, Stephanie? We can hear anything. <laughs> we can hear anything hear because you. it's raining. Oh, it's raining yeah. too hard. <laughs> it's raining cats and dogs. Yeah, it's, uh, raining. Yeah. it's raining. And frogs okay. and snakes. 
<laughs> okay. Everything. That's a biblical <laughs> brain. <laughs> Okay, so everybody's back. Uh, for some, it was difficult to have the conversation, right? Because of connection, because of the rain, but you try, okay? You try to speak. Uh, Blanca was telling me that it's raining cats, dogs, snakes, and yeah, trucks. Yeah, and we, in, in her and city. we, <laughs> <laughs> and two of us, we, we live in Apopa, and it's raining, obviously because we live in the same place. <laughs> ah, okay. So that was that was a coincidence. Now we're going to move on and uh, you already have an idea, right? So that's that was the point of the of the activity. So right now we are going to go deeper and we're going to discuss different ways to, to do it. So I would like to add, ask just one question to a different participant, right? So the first volunteer, is there any volunteer to answer the question number one? What would you do to promote or to introduce a new menu item? Maybe Rolando wants to select someone. <laughs> yeah, Ana, Ana Beatriz. <laughs> okay. In oh this my moment, God, uh, Blanca, <laughs> Blanca raised her hand, so she's going to answer the question number one. And we're going to give the opportunity to Anna to answer the question number two. Okay. Well, Orlando is a, is a, is a good, is a good uh, assistant right now. The okay. teacher, the teacher, the teacher uh, told me, Anna, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, Rolando. <laughs> he's getting it's the extra point. He's, he's, he's getting the extra point with the teacher. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, about the first questions. Okay, uh, you, you answer the question number two. Uh, Anna and Blanca is going to answer the question number one. Okay. okay. So Blanca, can you say something? Hi. Hello. We're, to we're talking about the social media. It's a good way to announce a new item, to introduce okay. a, new, a new, new item. item. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the social media. Um, what we're talking about? Um, I don't know. Well, the social media is a good point because I I put an example with the menu of BTS uh -huh. that McDonald's announced sure. in the, in the social media, and it was a good idea because they have full house yesterday full house. and yeah, and that. I think it's really good for, for them. Yeah, it is. I, I heard a lot of my students talking about the BTS hamburger. I was like, okay, so that, that works. Yeah, and okay. I lost it. I lost it. Oh, I'm sorry. Next time. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, th I think that McDonald's is a good, and Burger King are good examples of strategies for products. Okay, Anna Beatrice, what do you think about giving free samples of new products? I think it's an excellent idea. It's excellent because uh, you can, you, it is good for public attention. When people take the products or food, they can choose and buy them because they know about the food is good mm -hmm. or, or, is, or is not good. 
But yeah. I think it's a good idea when, when the restaurant, for example, giving free sample of, of new products, they can introduce these new items in the menu when, and the people know the products, so they can, they can, they can buy them. That's correct. Okay, class for both of them, please. Really good answers. I like them. Um, now we're going to take the attendance quickly to check that everybody's here. And hold on, hold on. I'm just going to move this. Believe me that when you're a teacher, a virtual teacher, you feel like an octopus uh, because you have to be opening and closing a lot of stuff. Uh, controlling a lot of stuff at the same time. So uh, there's a thunderstorm in Acajutla. Oh my goodness, Freddie. Uh, she has serious problem with her connection and her screen is frozen. Okay, thank you, Karen. Uh, yeah, she mentioned that at the beginning. She's trying to stay in the class, but she's, having, she's fighting against the weather and, uh, and the technology right now. Well, unfortunately, Julia is not here, Mr. Puerto Marisco. Uh, so we're going to continue with Freddy's. Are you there? Hello, Freddy's? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Uh, Blanca? Yes, I'm here. Jacqueline? Jackie, Jessica, Jessica Janari, teacher just for you to know it is raining very hard. Just in okay. case we we lost the connection. Yeah, okay, yeah, I understand. Uh, right now it's raining here again. So if you see that teacher disappears, you know the reason. <laughs> okay, so maybe another student can continue with the class, <laughs> as Rolanda was saying, right? So somebody can take control. Next one. Uh, so Jessica Sule uh, Suleima. Uh, Ruth is not here today, unfortunately. Uh, Rolando? Hello, I'm here. Hi, okay, perfect. Miguel Angel? Miguel Angel, no. So we lost Miguel Angel because of the rain. Uh, Maritza? I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you, Maritza. Karen Guadalupe? I'm here. Here, present. Nice. Juan Jose? I am here. Jennifer? She's not with us today. Harvin? I am here, teacher. Glenda? Glenda is having the connection problems, the internet connection problems. Uh, Francisco? Present. It's raining. Nice. Yeah, Floor? The good thing is that you're going to have a nice sleep tonight. Floor, are you there? Okay, nice. Uh, Diana? Present. Still here, okay. Uh, Carla, I'm afraid we lost Carla too. <laughs> okay, the next one, Brenda. I'm here. Ana Mariela. Present. Ana Elizabeth. And Ana Beatriz. I'm here. Okay. There you go. Teacher, so, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Teacher, for... I'm here, but I lost internet. <laughs> okay, right on time, Jessica. So teacher, um... teacher, I'm here. 
Okay, okay. Thank you, uh, Salema. I'm here. <laughs> yeah, I can see you very well. Um, thank you for staying with us. I hope you don't have problems at work. <laughs> okay, so just in case, tell him that is my fault. Now, a good reason would be that tell him that you're learning English to be a better worker. So they have to understand that you are trying to yeah. be better and overcome yourself and receive extra training because they don't teach you English at work. <laughs> okay, so um, let's go on. So here we have the exercise number two. Um, let me check. Jessica, can you please read the indication for the exercise number two? The number two, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Read the following strategy to introduce a new menu item. Item. Sorry, item. Check the box next to the strategies would you, you would consider implement, implementing. Implementing. Okay. So, uh, as you know, writing is important. So, if you have the manual on printed, like you already made a copy of the manual, good, you can do it. If not, I would suggest you to please take notes, right? Take notes uh, of the options that you would implement. So please write down in your notebook the options that you would implement, okay? If you have to make the decision about using different strategies, which one would you choose? So for this, I'm going to give you just one minute, okay? To make a decision, uh, you can write down to practice a little bit of writing, and then we're going to listen to you, okay? Saying which options you would like. Jacqueline, yes, I mentioned your name, but I saw you were there, so don't worry. Teacher, we have to write. Write the options that you would consider implementing. Uh huh. The ones that you like, that you say, this is a good strategy. Yeah, a little bit of writing, okay? Remember that we're going to practice all the English skills, all the language skills. Uh-huh. <laughs> I made an X on it. I have, I have the menu printed. Ah, okay, so that's faster. I think somebody, someone was trying to write down in the group. Uh, Ana Maravilla lost the connection. And Miguel Centeno, okay. Right. As a commercial, I am going to remind you that today we are going to have um, another participant. So yesterday, Jennifer couldn't be here. Today, she's not here. Flora was not able, but Ruth was. Luckily, because she's not here today. So I don't know, Flora, if it's possible for you to stay tonight. Okay, teacher. Okay, perfect. Thank you. And time is up. So volunteers. Rolando, thank you so much. Can you please read the strategy number one? <laughs> uh, provide free food sampling of your new products. Excellent. Choose the volunteer for number two, please. Blanca. Blanca, okay. Okay. 
Uh, add new items to your work website. Excellent. Number three, Juan Jose, please. <clears throat> new social network site to share the information about your new product. New social network sites. Excellent, thank you. Uh, select someone for the number four, Juan Jose. Oh, uh, um, Diana? Diana. <laughs> Advertise the products in the white space of the recipes. Of the receipts. 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 Re so you don't pronounce the letter P, okay? You say receipts. Oh, receipts. Receipts. Thank you. Okay. No se pronuncia la P en este caso. Se sale muda. Okay. Receipts, that would be recibos, right? So that's a good option, right? Uh, when you go to, I think it's Wendy's. I don't know. One of these fast food restaurants, uh, they, they tell you in the back that if you fill out a survey, you have the possibility of getting a new, a free product in the next purchase, something like that. So that's the strategy. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Diana, can you please choose one volunteer for number five? Brenda. Brenda. Give a promotional offer that includes the new items to customers after a recent visit. A recent visit, that's correct. A promotional offer, okay. Uh, that's correct. Uh, so which ones uh, do you like? Uh, I am going to, we are going to use another strategy or another uh, resource from the platform, okay? And that is annotation. So in this moment you can, uh, well, I'm going to share the screen. I don't know if you can, if you will be able to see what I'm doing. Wait a second, I will check. Mm. Okay, what do you see right now? The same as like. Yeah, but do you, see, oh, do you see, that I, do you see some options? Uh, no. Like text, draw, no. stamp. No? no? No, just a pen. Just a pen, okay. So uh, in the annotation, you have the possibility of selecting different tools. So you have the mouse that is just to point out. You have the text, text that is to, to add a text box. Like for example, here, I click here and I write down a, my name's Freddy. Okay, so that's text. The other option is, wait a second, wait a second. <laughs> the other option is draw. When you All select right. draw, don't worry. The good thing is that you use eraser, so that's excellent. So when you select draw, you have different symbols that you can choose. For example, an arrow, an arrow like this one, okay, that you can uh, make it the size that you want. Or you have another symbol that is like a box. You have another symbol that is uh, just a line, okay, like a marker. Uh, so you draw it, literally. And then you have this one that is thin. Then stamp, you can use some symbols. For example, a heart. One heart here, one heart there, et cetera, et cetera. Or a star start for all my students. You have the checks, okay? This is good for this exercise, right? Uh, you have the X. In, this, in the cell phone, there is only six uh, options. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, in the cell phone is more limited, that's correct. Yeah. Okay. Our pencil, pen, an arrow, color, erase everything and save. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, definitely. So, but the most important are text, draw, stamp, and the, the ones that we know, right? Erase, if you want to erase just one thing, you can erase, you click on that, right? Uh, or undo, if you want to, like control Z, right? Control Z, it's undo. Redo is to go back, right? Uh, go forward, go forward, right? Uh, and clear, clear all or clear 
only my drawings. So in this case, I'm going to clear my drawings, for example. If you see, there is one line in red that, what well, one symbol in red that, that somebody added, but I can clear all the drawings. So nothing on the screen. So in this moment, I would like you to please uh, click or put a check on the strategies that you would consider implementing. Don't worry if we see a million checks, okay? Uh, the point is that I want you to learn how to use these tools, okay? So Diana added a check right there, very good. So you can do the same thing, right? You can draw, you can, aha, uh -huh, very good, Blanca. Is using the arrows. Ana Mariela is using the little blue dots. Flor is using the big arrow. <laughs> okay, excellent. So we need to be friends with technology, right? Be curious, try, okay? Test the different tools that you have. I'm sorry, but I'm lost. I'm completely lost. <laughs> Teacher, I can't do it. Can you don't explain worry, again, don't worry. Uh, well, you have different options and you can choose the, the one that is more convenient for you, okay? Uh, that is in annotate, okay? I don't know if you have the application in English or in Spanish, but annotate or annotacion or anotar. And then you have a little menu and you can select. You can try with different options. If you just click draw, you can... Uh, for example, you can do it like a pencil, right? So you write down Freddy, right? Or the letter F, M. So, uh, okay. Um, so you can try it out, very good. So what are the options that you mentioned? Uh, provide free food samplings, that's one. Use social networks, okay. Uh, add new items to your website. Well, you mentioned all of them, okay? So different people have different options. Okay, but, teacher, I, I got it. Okay, perfect. Thanks. You're welcome. So I clear everything right now. So if you have to make a decision of the top three strategies, which one do you think would be the best options? I want to hear your opinions. For me, with uh, with everything, como está todo en este tiempo, no sé the way things decir. the way things are nowadays. For the, the way things, things are, things for are, the way things are nowadays. For uh, for the way things are nowadays. Nowadays. Uh, nowadays. Mm, I think nowadays. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Use the social network. It's a good way to to announce new items of every any any menu, and it's it's a good option to new add new items in your in the websites because every people it's I don't know they they use too much the the internet. The, the social networks and they want the things really fast yeah. and if you had all the menu in a website you can only go to the website choose what you want and put it in delivery i don't know <laughs> that's right you know. so i is there one strategy? I totally agree with you. Social network nowadays is the number one option. Okay, the radio, the TV, that's a secondary nowadays. But uh, is there any other option that is not here that you consider would be really good to introduce a new menu item, a strategy? That's a question for me or for everyone? For everyone. Ah, okay, okay. I think I have, that I have, everyone- I have one thing in my mind right now, but I want to I want to know if you have the same idea or you have a, a, another it one. Are, there are one, no, 
there is there is one thing that it's always a good i don't know a good choice to to make uh -huh. big uh any any anything i mm -hmm. don't know what is it it's the the say the boca en boca <laughs> i don't know mouth by mouth i don't know <laughs> Uh, I think it, it would be like customer to customer, something like that. Okay, customer to customer. Yeah, yeah. something like uh, that. If you give, if you give a, mm -hmm. a good a good service and a good attention, the people going to talk about and give a a good review of your restaurant or everything that you have, and that's make more popular your your restaurant or, or i don't know everything yeah that's correct so uh juan jose you wanted to say something no 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 nothing no okay so uh one thing that i was going to tell you that is very popular nowadays also is apps using apps so if you have your business and you have an app or you have a website uh, you have the possibility of getting, uh, I mean, uh, reaching more people, more customers. So for example, you have this uh, Google app, right? So over there, a lot of people use it nowadays because there are many options for food or for other products. So uh, that's one option, right? So creating an app nowadays is very, very popular. Okay. Um, so we're going to move on. And the next one is exercise number three. These are examples of the steps in an action plan to introduce a new product to the menu. So these are specifically the steps that you need to follow. Uh, I am going to ask uh, Arvin, are you there? Yes. Okay, can you please read A, B, and C? Okay, A. What action or, or change will happen? B, who will carry it out? And C, when will take it place and for how long? When will it take it, take it, when will it take place or and for how long? Okay, excellent. Uh, number, well, letter D and letter E, I am going to ask Jacqueline. Okay, letter D, what resources are needed to carry out the change? Letter E, communication, who should know what? Who should do what? Who should know what? Uh-huh, communication, who know what? Who should know okay. what? Okay, so those are the steps to introduce a new product. That's the action plan, okay? So what action or change will happen? Like, what are we going to do differently? What is that going to affect? Who will carry it out? Who is going to be in charge? Let us see, when will it take place and for how long? Okay, so new product is going to be for one month, one week. How long are we going to promote it? Where are we going to promote it? When, right? If, for example, if it is a new, the Loroco pizza, you cannot promote it uh, at any time of the year. There are some specific month where you can promote it, right? Uh, if it is a mangoneada, right? You cannot do that in, in December. I mean, you or... So you do it when the mango season is, is on, right? So that, okay? Um, you're not going to sell umbrellas in January, okay? Uh, or you're not going to be selling notebooks in September. I mean, no, you do it at the end of the year or at the beginning, right? So you need to think about that. Letter D, what resources are needed to carry out the change? Okay, give me just one second. I need the computer charger. And um, I hope it doesn't die. Uh, I didn't see that it was in red, but just in case you know that there are more, there are more teachers uh, in this group, right? So 
they volunteer. And so the aspect of the letter D, what resources is obviously money is one, but how much money, uh, what technology you're going to use, that's another aspect. Uh, do you need people for, for that? Do you need a lot of people? For example, if it is flyers, you know flyers, right? Oja volantes. So you need people to, to give them away, right? Uh, to people on the streets. Um, and then communication, who should know what? What is the audience? Okay, what are you going to say? If the product is for kids, obviously it has to be something really attractive for kids. If it is for adults, for teenagers like BTS right now, the Korean band. So I am not interested. My mother is not interested. My nephew is not interested. So there is a specific part of the generation of, of the age population that is interested in that, okay? So people from, I don't know, 15 to 25 years, maybe, or a little bit more. So- um, I have 30. I have 30 years old and I love BTS. <laughs> you are 30 years old. Okay, so it's because of, your, yeah. of the kind of music you like. So of course, right? It depends. Um, if you tell me, okay, they are going to sell the Goku hamburger. I am going to be interested in that. Okay, I, I'm an adult, but I like Goku me when too. I was younger, so I would I would buy it right now. So that's that's the point. What you're going to do now? Please take a screenshot of the steps. Okay, that's important that you identify the steps. So if you have an idea for a business, these are steps that you need for an action plan. Okay, so. What we're going to do is the exercise. You are going to number the steps of the following action plan. Okay, ready, set, and go. Wait, wait. <laughs> I didn't uh, eliminate the annotations. Uh, so there's a little heart right there, a little, yeah, good. So these are examples of the steps in the action plan to introduce, right? So I already have that. And here you have the steps. But first, um, I need some volunteers to read the five different steps, and you are going to put them in the correct order. So, um, Diana, please read number one. The drink will be able to be available during Valentine's oh. available. Day. Available. available. Yeah, available. During Valentine's Day in a promotion that continues through February. Uh huh, exactly. Very good. Uh, choose someone else, please. Uh, Jacqueline. Jacqueline, number two. Well, we don't know the order, right? <laughs> okay. So Jacqueline, uh, the second one, and the third one is Jessica. Okay. The chef created the recipe. How do you say recetta in English? Recipe. It's a recipe, that's correct. Recipe. Recipe, okay, recipe, thank yeah. you. You're welcome. I'm going to start again. That's my the job, don't worry. The created the recipe. <laughs> uh-huh. Recipe for the dream, for the dream. Yeah. The manager approved, uh, approved of it, approved uh, of it. Approved of it, uh -huh. Staff. Okay, and the advertising staff will be responsible to market the product. To market the product, excellent. Okay, Jessica, the next one. We lost Jessica. Uh, so I'm going to select Ana Mariela, please. Advertise board and staff will stay in communication to carry out the steps to complete the introduction of the drink. The introduction of the drink. Okay, that's right. 
Uh, select someone else, please, Anna. Juan Jose. Juan Jose. Okay. Manager requests the extra funding for this project. The drink is made with herbs that are somewhat rare. Uh, that are somewhat rare, but they are not very expensive. Okay, but they are not very expensive. Okay. Uh, Juan Jose, select the last one, please. Okay, Floridalma. Floor. Um, a new drink is going to be introduced to the me menu. To the menu, okay. So right mm -hmm. now, please in your notebook, write down the numbers of every step in the order that you think they go. So if you think that the drink will be available during the Valentine's Day in a promotion that continues through February, so, and you think that that is the step number four, you write down number four. Okay, so write down the numbers from the top to the bottom in the order that you think they belong, okay? Where every step belongs. You have the letters from A to E, right? But you know that is the, the number, right? A, one, B, two, C, three, D, four, E, five. So you have just one minute and then we check. It's okay, Jessica, I imagine that you have problems with the internet. That was the reason. Check. Okay, we have some seconds. Thirty seconds, just in case. Some people are having are still having problems with the internet. Okay. I'm finished. Okay, awesome. Let me check. Who's I think I finished. Oh, Harbin is having problems. Uh and Francisco. Okay, so that's an issue. So Let's practice. Um, with the annotation. Okay. Can you please uh, place a little heart in the step that you consider is number one? I can, I can draw anything. Really? Okay, wait a second. Now, try it out. Can you place a little heart? This is the Valentine's presentation, okay? So, <laughs> okay. So somebody place the heart in the last one. A new drink is going to be introduced to the menu. Is that the action or change that will happen? Yes or no? Do you agree? Yes. Yes. Correct. Yes. Very good. Yes. Can you please 
Ah, somebody is right is using the text. Can you please uh, put a check in the one that you think is the second step? One check in the one that you think is the second step. Okay. The chef created the recipe for the drink. The manager approved of it. The advertising staff, okay. So we have two opinions. Uh-huh, we have the number two and number three. So which one is correct? Advertising board and staff will stay in communication to carry out the steps to complete the introduction of the drink. Quédate. I hmm. think uh, the chef has to create the recipe to know what, how can, how much it's gonna uh -huh. cost. That's right. So in this case, all the people that are involved, right, in the process of changing. So that's correct. Can you please use a little arrow or place a little arrow in the number three? Arrow like this one. Aha, uh -huh. okay. The manager requested extra funding for this project. Uh, when will it take place and for how long? Extra funding? Mm. With herbs? Mm. I think this is not the correct answer. It's the first one. Is the first one. Yes, that's correct. So it goes here. So that is the step number three. When it will take place and for how long? When? Valentine's, right? The specific date uh, for how long? All the month in February. So February, as you want to pronounce it. Now we go with the next one. Please place a little X in the step number four. What resources are needed? <laughs> um, okay, Sorry, so we I'm have. In the and I yeah, can't don't go. worry, don't worry. <laughs> so we have two options advertising board and staff, same communication, communication, resources. Mm, not exactly. The manager, extra funding, talking about herbs and expensive, about money. So, yes. The correct answer is the manager requested extra funding for the project. And obviously the last one, the last step is the star. We're going to place a star in advertising. Okay, advertising board and staff will stay in communication. So who should know what? Okay, congratulations. Now, that you are experts in creating an action plan for a new product in a menu, right? You can apply this in different contexts, right? It can be a new shirt for your clothing store. It can be a new pair of shoes or pair of sandals for your shoe store. It can be a new ice cream for your candy shop, right? Or a new chocolate. Um, so this is, Learning English, but at the same time, you're learning how to do business. So you can put this into practice, okay? If you have your own idea for business. So what are we going to do next? You are going to create, okay? A simple, a basic plan to introduce a new product to a fast food restaurant, okay? In this case, you are going to work uh, in small groups, okay? So I'm going to create uh, groups of what? Uh, thir three people, I think. Three will be okay. Because the more people, the more discussion. So it's more difficult to make a decision, right? So uh, I think three will be okay. I'm going to create a breakout rooms right now. You are going to have exactly, um, let's say, Six, six minutes, approximately seven minutes. And when we finish, we are going to listen to one or two groups. The rest are going to present tomorrow, okay? Do you have any questions before I create the breakout rooms? Any questions about what you're going to do? Have to create a new, a new item in the menu. Five steps. Okay, we have to follow the five steps. 
mm -hmm. to uh, introduce a new product to a fast food restaurant. Okay. So what are, what are the strategies that you will use, right? Define the strategies. And, well, it says in first, but I think that some of you can work in group of three. So you can use the steps, right? To create a basic plan. So what are you going to do, right? What are going to be the strategies for you to, to develop the idea and launch it, right? And promote it to the market, to the audience, the public. So that's the purpose of the activity, okay? Um, let me check. We have 18 people, so it's five groups. Wait, six groups. Okay, my mathematics are not working well right now. So um, I open the breakout rooms. Wait a second. Uh, Anna and Karen. So Anna and Karen, you will be by yourself. I hope it's not a problem. Anna Beatriz and Karen, the rest are in groups of three. Ready, set, and go. Okay, six minutes. And then we come back. Okay, Anna, Elizabeth, and Glenda, if it's possible for you to join the breakout room, perfect. Okay, here we go. Uh, we're missing just one of you. Let me check the groups. Excellent. One, two, one, this one right here. Hacer una un listado de of strategy about about a new new product. Mm -hmm. For a fast food restaurant, exactly. That's what you're going to do right now. Think about what strategies you will implement to offer or to include a new product. Maybe a new hamburger, a new pizza, a new drink, a new dessert. Okay, think about it's a restaurant. Like, it's like when, when, when promotion, uh, uh, for example, McDonald's. Mm -hmm. uh, exactly. McGreeve, I don't So right? think about it. Okay. And uh -huh. a commercial name. So, no, what you're going to do is to introduce a new product to the menu. So you need to, first of all, think about uh -huh. what, pro what product you can introduce. And then you are going to make the plan. How are you going to introduce it? What is going to be a strategy? Mm -hmm. Are you going to use a social network? Are you going to use mm -hmm. a commercial? Are you going to offer a promotion? What is going to be a strategy? So that the product is popular mm -hmm. and successful, For right? sure. Ah, so that's the strategy. Very good. So discuss, okay. write down, take notes, and right. make a plan. Make a plan, a simple plan, right? Maybe three or or four strategies, and that's it. But first, this define what is going to be the product. Okay. Okay, and the the restaurant, right? Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank well, you. I think no. A new dessert. And, yes, mango a new pie. dessert. A mango oh, pie. Oh, exactly. mango pie. That sounds delicious. Yeah. I love mango. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are, it's a we are, we are season fruit. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Mango pie. I love your background, Anna. Thank you, teacher. It's raining, but... But in my group, <laughs> my, but in, in my your mind, is, yeah, in your mind, it's, it's a yeah. sunny day. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Okay, um, Karen, what about the step uh, B? Who will carry it Who out? Who will carry it? Mm, 
I suppose that the chef will make this this new recipe and yeah. um, recipe. Recipe. That's I'm right. Always for, forget that. Yeah, it's a confusing word. It's recipe. a confusing word for students. I know. Yeah, recipe. Yeah. Okay, go ahead, so, girls. So Think about the, the strategy. Chef? What is the plan? How are you going to introduce okay. it? Okay. And the the mango chef pie. Spanish is look. But I think that in English is barman. Barman, yeah. bartender. Bartender, yes. Is that the same, teacher? Yeah, actually, yes. Uh, bartender is an English word. It's not Spanish. Um, we're, we're having a question. Uh -huh. We'll be like the bartender manager. It's like... What name we can we can yeah, say? Well, we could call the manager, the back, the bartender manager. El, like in Spanish, el jefe del bar, o el encargado mm -hmm. del bar. Hmm. Okay. I think it would, it would be just like bar manager, like people uh, understand that he's in charge of of the of the bar. Yeah, that's it. And he okay. controls all the bartenders, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Yeah. In Google, say that the barman knows about cocktails. Yeah, that's a barman. And the uh -huh. bartender. Yeah, he's, he's the one that prepares the drinks. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And the bartender. Um, Sir. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. Okay, so the barman. The barman. Uh -huh. okay, the so barman boss. <laughs> Es una bebida la que van a, a introducir. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And the name? Ah, we can we can tell you. Yes. Ah, it's a secret. Oh, okay, it's a secret. Okay. Okay. <laughs> bueno, está bien. Solo Maritza, Flor y Fresh las sabrán. Okay. Secret in the moment, guys. Okay. 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 <laughs> uh -huh. I know what you're planning. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Hmm, this is an interesting combination in this group. <laughs> okay. Really? So, yeah. in the four, what four. resources are we need what to carry people? out with change? Okay, it's a new dessert. Yeah. What is a dessert? Cake or what? A special cookies with all the all the Christmas uh, 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 decoration decorations. Uh, yes, okay, decorations. Okay. Decoration. Yeah. Decoration. And what is going to be a strategy? Be. Yeah, it could be the strategy. Um, we we are going to announce announcement announce it through the social media and we we want to when, the newspaper when will too? you offer it what when when will you offer it in uh, uh, during november november december november well, and december in El Salvador, they <laughs> offer they, they promote the december things in, in september i think or october so <laughs> <laughs> you see all the decorations right in the in the stores in the streets. yeah okay when, I, know when you see me. I like the plan okay yeah Thank i'll you. see you in a moment you have let me check approximately just one more minute okay so, oh, go wait, ahead. it's okay okay, okay now Did you finish? I guess Are you there, Glenda? Hi. Did you finish? Yes. Okay, so we have 30 seconds more. Uh, teacher, I have a uh, question, teacher. Uh, uh, tell uh, me. I, I was, hey, Francisco, you're back. Uh -huh. Yes. What is the question? Uh, how do you say commercial? Sería com pero commercial Advertisement. Algún... Advertisement. Advertisement. Yeah. Or add, add mm -hmm. as a short, a publicity, short form. The publicity, the commercial publicity. Yeah, okay. it's advertisement. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, uh, we, okay. we could commercial, we can use commercial is possible. Commercial is possible too if you oh. promote it on TV. Like, mm, there's a commercial, uh -huh. yeah, mm. or on the radio, oh. right? But advertisement is general, right? Uh, you see advertisements on the streets, on the websites. So right now you just have some seconds to finish, guys. So we're going back to the break to the main session. Okay. 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 All right. So we're done. Um, I I think that the majority of you already got this right. So. I couldn't enter one breakout room, if I'm not mistaken. I think it was Suleyman's breakout room. But um, I would like to know if any of the groups is ready so that we can uh, listen to one group. Because of time, only one group, and the rest will be tomorrow, right? So uh, it can be one person from the group, or you can divide, right, the strategies and just share two or three people. Mm -hmm. So is anybody ready to share? Remember that this is not a part of, the, of an evaluation, right? It's part of the process of learning and exposing yourself to use the language. So we're having fun at the same time that we are learning or we're learning at the same time that we're having fun. It doesn't matter, right? Uh, <laughs> one way or the other, uh, the two things are important, right? That you enjoy and that you learn. So is there any group that would like to Try it out. You can try, try it out it. today Thank and you. then you can continue working on that and you can do it again tomorrow. That's okay. So today is just try make a little, a little test, a little sample. Uh -huh. Go ahead, Brenda. Okay. Uh, we will create a new dessert. A new dessert. That would be the, uh -huh, a new dessert. The, the, the second step is do uh, the licitation to choose the chef who will create the recipe, recipe, recipe for yeah. this new, uh -huh. okay. The third step will be, the dessert will be available for Christmas time. The occasion in which we will serve the, the thing. The and dessert, the, uh, uh -huh, what, is it, what is a dessert? It's a cake, it's a cookie? Uh -huh. It's a cake, it's a cake. It's a pie? Mm -hmm. Okay. Because it's, it's cake. for Christmas. Uh -huh. Okay. So uh, the step number four, the resources we need, we need money, we need people, uh, skilled people that will be working on it and the tools that we will need to create that cake in case we don't have any ingredients, special uh, ingredients for that cake. That's it. The tools and the ingredients. Okay. Excellent. The equipment, right? The equipment. Okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very good. Class for them, please. For, who was in your group, Brenda? Uh, Juan Jose and uh, Francisco Villacorta. Okay, Juan Jose and Francisco, perfect. Class for the three of you. So guys, quickly, I'm just going to take the attendance. Uh, give me just a second. Yeah. Um, so, Ana Beatriz. I'm here. Ana Elizabeth. I'm here. Ana Mariela. Present. Brenda Erlinda. I'm here. Carla Yanet, not here. Diana Yesenia. Present. Flori Dalma. I'm here. Francisco Amadeo. Francisco. Present, teacher. Okay. I'm here. Uh, Glenda Laura. I'm here. Sorry. No, I'm no, here no worries. Time. Okay. Harvey and Isaac. Thank you. Uh, yeah, we lost Harbin at the end of the call, but he has been with us for the, well, most of the session. Uh, Jennifer Gisela is not here right now. Juan Jose. JJ. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Karen Guadalupe. JJ. I'm here. Maritza Alcira. I'm here, teacher. Miguel Angel, well, we lost Miguel Angel too. Uh, Rolando Antonio. Hello, I'm here. Okay, hey, Suleyma Lisette. 
Jessica Yanari. I'm here, teacher. Jacqueline Xiomara. I'm here. Blanca Stephanie. I'm here. Praise Vladimir. Here. Perfect. So, uh, guys, we're basically done with today's session. I don't know if you have any comments or questions before you leave. I have a question, teacher. Okay, please ask me. It's con it's respecting to the platform in which we are doing the um, homework. Mm -hmm. In the homework number 2.11, there are two questions where, with the wood. You have mm -hmm. to do something like that. And so in those examples, no matter what you try, it will never work. So um, I don't know if there is something bad there. Okay, let me take notes. So it's exercise. In the homework 2.11 and related with a question with wood contraction. Wood contraction, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. I will check it out. Yeah, uh, yeah it's the same that the same one that Freddy uh, sent in. Okay, so yeah, there might be a little typo or something. It happens. Remember, uh, it's a possibility, but we will fix it. Okay, uh, and when it's ready, I will we will let you know. Right, somebody from Let's Go Party or myself will tell you. Okay, we already made the correction, so you can. Uh, fix it. Okay, so if you any if you don't have any other questions or comments, uh, thank you so much for one more day. Uh, I hope that you learned something new today. That you uh, practice with your partners when you were in the breakout rooms and here in the plenary as well. Uh, that now you are experts in using the tools for the annotation in in, in Zoom and. Uh, well, then now you have an idea how to create an action plan to introduce a new product. So that's something really useful, okay? Whenever you have a business or uh, you want to organize something, right? Prepare something. So uh, I'll see you tomorrow, guys. So we're finishing the week. Don't forget, okay, that you need to catch up, right, with the exercises on the platform. Uh, you need to try to be in every session. That is really important because we need, it's 50 and 50, right? The attendance is one aspect and the exercises and evaluations on the platform is the other one. If you can go beyond in the exercises, it's okay. If not, don't worry. We go step by step, right? In the lessons that we are having every day. So take good care of yourself. Enjoy your night's sleep. I know that it's going to be fresh and you're going to sleep like a baby. Uh, so recharge, Many reload miles. all the energies and I will see you <laughs> tomorrow, okay? So I'm going to stay with Floor tonight. Okay. Bye. 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 Okay, perfect. Uh, well, teacher, I don't have a question yet or something that I feel a little confused. I, I don't think so yet. Just to, to tell you that this class and yesterday, I feel maybe a little um, oh, um, uncomfortable. Uh -huh because I couldn't connect to my computer. Oh, so I, I you are from your cell phone. Yes. Oh, okay. Because I have to, to change the screen, to, to get the image, to 
look for some word in Google if I don't know. So I I feel I feel that, but I hope tomorrow I will be on my computer. Okay, okay, that's good to know because sometimes uh, I can well I cannot tell if you are in a computer or if you are in a cell phone or tablet. Uh, but that you yes. tell me that is good because I, I understand that maybe you cannot use the, or you cannot complete the exercises or do the things that you would do it on the computer, yes. right? Or, or, or participate because Part I like to participate, to participate but yeah, participate, participate. Uh -huh. Participate, and, that's and right. And the, the cell phone is, 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 is hard, it's more yeah. difficult. It's more difficult. However, uh, yeah. the connection was good. I could uh, see, well, I can see you well, right? And that's, at least that's something good. I can hear you and see you well. And I, I saw that you were speaking, right? Interacting with your classmates in the breakout room. So uh, did you hear me well? Yes. During the well, session? Okay. In, in maybe, well, yesterday and today in, in some moments, a few moments, yes, I I feel that the connection is not so good, but I, I don't know if it's your connection or maybe it's my connection because both days was raining. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the day before yesterday, my connection was really bad. Yesterday was so-so. Today it's been good. Today it has been really good. So maybe it's your connection, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> blame it on me blame it on me <laughs> okay um so about the language skills in general is there anyone any skill in particular that you would like to improve or work more on yes maybe maybe i sometimes i forget how to how to pronounce the past of some verbs. How to pronounce the past of some verbs. Yes, the pronunciation. Okay, you were explaining that today, I think. That I was example, explaining that yesterday. Yesterday. Uh, yesterday, yes, uh -huh. yesterday. Uh-huh. So I know, I know how to say it, but when I'm speaking, I forgot. So I have to pra practice more. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, there, yeah. The past, the past form of the verb. So in this case, yeah, definitely using the internet uh, to help you is really important. For example, the websites that are focused only on grammar, uh, there are different different options. Uh, you can remind me through the chat, right? Like, teacher, can you please share some links to practice uh, this topic, right? Uh, or can you share some videos? So I can look for them and share them with you. Specific topics that you have okay. doubts, you can just let me know uh, individually or in the group. That's okay for me. Um, I'm okay, okay with that. I'm okay with that. Okay, because sometimes okay, you, you look for the information on the internet, but you don't know which one is the best option, right? So it's difficult yes. when you have a million options. Uh, yes. So yeah, I can recommend you some specific uh, websites or videos that are really good. Okay, thank you, teacher. No, you're welcome. Uh, so pronunciation is one aspect in your in your opinion, and uh, well, what I was noticing uh, right now that you were telling me these things uh, is that maybe it's not completely pronunciation in all the cases, but it's another element that is part of the speaking part. And that is called stress or stressing. Uh, for example, uh, some students were having problems to remember how to say postre and they say dessert. So the pronunciation, yes, the pronunciation was good. The problem was the stress. So they put the stress in the first syllable. They say dessert. So I think that that is a problem that you might have in some words. You know yes. the pronunciation, like participate. 
You pronounce <laughs> participate, but you say participate, right? Or yes. participate. Yes. Participate. That, that, so it's that is a, that identify is the syllable <laughs> where you're going to put the stress. Uh -huh, that one. Yeah, that uh -huh. is a problem even, even in Spanish. <laughs> that really? I have. <laughs> How is that possible? I don't know, but I I had that problem. Ah. But, but no, well, before before you, nobody told me that. But now that I listen to you, it's true. I have the problem. Yes. In so English. In Spanish, in English, I, yeah. I I I knew it, but in English, I I never know that. I have never known that, but it's true. Okay, so I so, have to be careful. So in this case, when it comes to stressing the words, it's not exactly that you're going to memorize rules, but you have to memorize the pronunciation of the word. It's like yeah. you have to repeat them the way that you listen to them, like the way that you hear them, and just try to remember. Mm -hmm. That is like that. And when you feel that you're forgetting that, then you practice it again because it happens that so we forget the some things about the language. It happens to me, like sometimes I doubt, like is it at the beginning, in the middle or at the end? I have the doubt. Imagine I am a teacher, right? So it happens when you don't use the words frequently. So probably with constant practice, it will be less of a problem for you. Okay, thank you. Okay, teacher. you're welcome, Flora. It was a pleasure to share with you and I will see you tomorrow, God willing. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. Have a good night. Bye, you too. Bye. Take care.